This maxed out, 66 degrees. Yeah, check out the other one. 66 degrees is the temperature I like to keep my home at. Wow. You know, this one went down as low as 23 degrees. It's well under freezing. You know, so that work is definitely worth building that shelter right. Cool, okay. Get packed up, get moving. This really shows that having the right survival skills can make all the difference. I've survived the three big killers out here, avalanche, blizzard and freezing water. But in my next challenge, it all goes downhill. Very fast. Fast than expected. When we get it wrong and nearly pay the ultimate price. I'm in British Columbia, in deep winter, where I survived the chilling water of a frozen lake. Gotta get out of here now. Back on solid ground, the team and I head for the hills. The snowcats make easy work of these conditions, and without them, it would be a completely different scenario. In winter time, with thick snow cover, moving anywhere on foot is just hard, hard work. You get deep snow well up to your waist, and your pace can reduce to literally a crawl. But on steep ground, pace is the least of your worries. Slip here, and you'll be heading downhill fast. Hitting rocks at speed can be fatal. You need to know how to stop your slide. As the convoy climbs, the terrain gets steeper. We're heading for the mountain peaks, where I'll face my next challenge, a high-speed glissade. OK, let's go, guys. To show you how to survive a fall in terrain as demanding and steep as this, I'm going to deliberately throw myself down the mountain, then try to arrest my descent. But this deep winter snow is too soft to stand any chance of sliding. Our snowcat, though, will soon fix that. Plowed out, the track will be just like summer snow that has thawed and refrozen. Hard and slippy. Whenever I've glissaded before, I've always had some means of arresting myself. Uh, but the reality is most people who fall don't have that, and I've witnessed that firsthand before with my wife and son. I took a fall on a big mountain, only just stopped short of a cliff, very nearly died. You, know, you can't underestimate just how fast you pick up speed on these sort of slopes. Unless you know what you're doing, you're not going to beat gravity. To see how fast I go, the team has set up a speed camera on the slope and marked a line in the snow where I'll start my arrest. Then we'll measure how long it takes to stop. And stopping fast can sometimes be critical. The slope's ready, the camera crew in position, time to get up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> 